All right, seconds after 7 o'clock. Lots more still ahead on this morning edition. The only place to get all your local news, weather, and traffic. Keep from 7 to 8 in this marketplace. Plus, the news you haven't heard yet this morning. It could be the first step in finding a cure for the common cold. Doctors now say they know why we get sinus infections. What are we going to do with all those sick days we're not going to be able to use? <laughs> mm. Oh, this is going to be great. You yep. are looking at one of the most unique places in all of Maryland by George. That is Daniels. That's the outside portion of Daniels. We'll be going inside for People Are Talking Live. This is a great place. And advertisers are finding harmony with pop stars. We'll take a look and a listen to the newest way to get baby boomers to spend their money. All right, don't touch that dial. Or eat that cereal endorsed by Madonna just yet. We are coming right back. You've got WJZ 13 Eyewitness News. Morning edition with Don Scott and Marty Bass. People who help make Eyewitness News Baltimore's favorite news team. All right. There it is. Oh, now that's going to be great. That is the Maryland Renaissance Fest. All right. We don't want to blow it all now. We'll come back to Blade. Sky Chopper 13 is live over, uh, that would be Howard County, wouldn't it? Uh, Anne Arundel, I think. Right on the it's line, yeah, actually. Crownsville, but why are there cars there this time of the morning? Well, that is a good question. Yeah. Why Crownsville, Anne Arundel? Why yeah. are there cars there this yeah. morning? Unless somebody's going to joust for us, wouldn't that be cool? Maybe throw turkey legs at us. Yeah, that, well, <laughs> man, that does work, doesn't it? Uh, I tell you what, let's take a look at the uh, first warning radar. We still have some shower activity around the region, not necessarily in our area. We had some, you know, once again, we'll talk about the thunderstorms and whatnot, and that's the... Uh, that was the good flash and bang from last night, but the real story is the good rain that fell during uh, the evening, night, and overnight. Once again, we still have rain falling, pushing on off to the east. Here Metro, though, we are, uh, we are relatively clear of shower activity, some scattered light shower activity out to the west of the area. Take a look at the forecast for the day. Uh, sunshine returns, humidity will lower, still kind of warm. Uh, the normal high is 81, call it a high of 84 degrees this day. Tonight, clear skies, not too humid, cool, a low of 55. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Sunshine, a refreshing breeze in the area, a high of 80, a low of 55. Don. Thank you. We're hoping for little in the way of flash and bang out on the Beltway and environs. Here's Gene Ross from our traffic team. Once again, happy Friday, Gene. And good morning to you once again, Don. Happy Friday to everyone. Still dealing with some wet roadways from last night's storm and some uh, trees that had been down causing some travel problems this morning. Checking around the area, White Marsh Boulevard southbound, headed down toward the Beltway. Heavy traffic, but moving pretty well this morning. Accident right now on the outer loop of the Beltway west side between Liberty Road and Security Boulevard. And uh, we have a check on that. We are checking to see if traffic is backed up around 795 at this point. On the northeast outer, White Marsh Turing Parkway is our slow spot. Harrisburg Expressway is clear, and we just reopened southbound Turing Parkway between Putty Hill and Taylor Avenue. Several other accidents in Baltimore County and Baltimore City. Please watch your speeds when you're driving this morning. Mix 106.5 presents Mix Fest. September 17th appears six starring Donna Summer and Cool Linda Gang. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster locations. Don, back to you. Thank you. Three and a half past seven. Here's what people are talking about this morning. That horrible and admittedly fake carjacking on the eastern shore. A bail review hearing will be held this morning in Easton for the father charged with killing his son and wounding his daughter. Krista Delkamp has the latest on the unraveling of this murder mystery.